Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Buy This Watch, a super hot smoking deal, one worth checking out. Now some things to point out. I don't own these watches, I don't know these dealers, and therefore I do not warrant these purchases. These just so happen to be a really great deal that I found as I was watch hunting. Figured I'd pass it along to you. You'll also want to know that in the title of the episode is the date. By the time you see this episode, these watches may not still be available. Still worth checking out though, because if it's still available, it might be a watch you want to have a closer look at. Happy hunting. Welcome back to this next hobby of ours. Buy this watch. I've decided to do a recap of this series week over week of watches that remain. This Bulgari Diagonal uh, SD38 is still on the market. Why? <laughs> Especially when I promised to buy it last week if it was remaining. Well, because it's in play. Uh, I do use this seller closer on a regular basis. It's one of my uh, main Japanese sellers. And I want to get some money off no matter what. It's my goal. As a buyer in life, uh, in my job, I, I need to get some money off of it. So I'm trying to get a hundred, I want to get a hundred bucks off this watch. I want to go in at 875, actually 825 would be ideal. So the first uh, person there that I corresponded with wasn't, didn't remember me as a repeat buyer or whatever. So I have to wait till my guy's back in the office and see if I can't get a repeat buyer discount. So this one remains on the market. You know, you can still buy it if you want it. Uh, but I'm hoping to reach out and make contact with him tomorrow and see about getting this one. So more to follow on this one. But in today's hunt, we got two bogeys. We are going to be hunting uh, Junghan's Max Bill. And then I got a Omega Seamaster on the back end of it. Uh, kind of a special uh, twofer today. You need a dress watch like it or lump it you need a dress watch in life and if you don't have a sports watch that can double as your dress watch why not get an affordable automatic or manual or quartz dress watch with some provenance and uh who better than max bell uh young hands uh, max bell young hands is my dress watch when i have to have when i have to go to an affair requiring a bit of a little bit of a dress up and even G-Money has one of these. So let's dive into it. Again, we're back on pick, uh, pick Click, Young Hands, Max Bill. Now, I've seen a trend towards unusual affordability on their automatic watches post-pandemic. Whereas everything else is going up, uh, these watches are going down. Uh, and I don't know why. First thing you need to know about the Young Hands Modern line is that anytime you see a watch that says Young Hands Design on the dial, that's the 34 millimeter. By and large, this is not the watch you will want to get. This watch wears small. Uh, now, you wear the watch that fits you. If you have a smaller wrist, wear the watch that fits you. Uh, these Young Hands Design watches, highly affordable. This is a, a hand manual wind for 360. Amazing. Can't wear it. It's too small. So we want to first look at this one here. This is a gold cased watch. It's got the minute track, the hour track. It's got the very special number four. If you get a Young Hands watch and you've got Arabic numerals on the dial, you want to make sure it's got this unique type font four. This is the stereotypical Bauhaus number four. So let's take a closer look at this. Let's get up in your business. It's a beautiful watch. Uh, if you want a gold dress watch, white dial, super clean with a date. Look at her. Absolutely beautiful. 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 I have one of these, but it's a vintage uh, gold case and white dial. I'll do a, I'll do a, um, a review of that at some point. But look at that, 410, 410 bucks. You know what? Write this seller, offer them 370, 
Actually, wait a minute. Let's take, let's take 50. Offer them 370. How could they say no? Right? Why would they, you know, 10%? It's barely, it's like 10% off. Always offer 10% off or less. Great piece. All right, let's go back. Where are we at? Right, uh, that one's a design. That's a 34. Okay, we're gonna look at this one. Black dial with date. All right, uh, we have some potential issues with this one. I can't tell if this is a shadow or a crack in the crystal. These crystals are super cheap and easy to replace, but why bother with it if you don't have to? Uh, let's let's see if we can get up in there and see if we can determine it. Come on. Uh, I think this is a crack. Yeah, this is a pass. Otherwise, not a bad price. All right, next one. Next batter up. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so this one. I got some of these previewed. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Let's go back to this black dial. Ooh, okay. We're back in play on a black dial. 557. Uh, again, out of. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry. This is probably not going to sell. This will probably relist. Gorgeous. Black dial, straight line, date, auto. If this doesn't sell, jump in on this seller. Offer them 475. How can they say no? All right, this is the one that I was driving at. You'll notice I got these tabs up here, so the deck is stacked. This is the one I'm driving at. This is the one I really want to recommend and have you chase after. Look at this one. And the reason is twofold. First, first of all, this price. $539 plus make an offer. Come in at $450. Depending on how they reflect on that, come in at $475. Do not go over $475 on this piece. Look at that. White dial, straight line, super clean date, plus it's on a Milanese bracelet. You're not getting one of the straps, you're getting a bracelet. And it's Jungen stamped bracelet. Gosh. Uh, you may want to come in at 500 on these for this bracelet. Uh, one trip through the, uh, through the cleaner, this bracelet's going to be just fine. And it's going to be epically gorgeous. Yeah, go in on this one. You know, it depends on your, your level of comfortability. I say, what the heck? I would be trying at 450 475 I would probably make a run at it at that price. That, that's a, it, it's a good deal. Let's see, is this full kit? I see a booklet. Let's see what else is in here. All right, so it's watch plus booklet. No, no box. It's okay. Let's see if there's anything weird here. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, no, no scratch or dirt. 100% authentic or money back guaranteed. Can't beat that. All right, you're in like Flynn. Do it. This is the watch to buy. This is the watch that's going to go into <laughs> the thumbnail right here. All right. Got an outlier today. Switching gears. Omega Seamaster 120M, the quote Omega Explorer. I did a video on this very early on in the channel. I own this watch. I love this watch. And yet, I'm still hunting the Explorer. And I am recommending that you look at this watch. This price is too high. For a couple of reasons. First of all, it's just too high. It should be 1300 all day long. But there's some issues with this watch. Hear me again. There are some issues with this watch. All right. Now we're going to get up in there and we're going to mitigate the issues with the offer we make. If we come in on this watch, this bezel has got some chowder on it. All right. Now, these scratches, these dings, the scratches and dings are always going to look worse in the photos than they will in person. But make no mistake, these are substantial, all right? This watch took a couple hits in its life. But it is otherwise rare and beautiful. Look at that clasp. 
It's got the gold clasp right there. Uh, I don't know what all this blah blah is. Seamaster automatic, the 120 in blue. I would take a run at this. Um, as it happens, I recommended this listing to a gentleman whom I bought mine off of who wanted to buy it back. He had seller's remorse. I'm in love with mine. I'm keeping it. And I recommended that he look at this one. You're going to want to take a run at this. I myself took a run at this sale to grab it, and the seller did not want to move on price. I think this seller is a dealer. I mean, if my recollection is that they're a dealer. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. Okay, so they're a dealer. Watch Vault, New York City. You're going to have to slow burn this one. Dealers, generally speaking, they don't have to move the product in the same way that a you know, a regular seller, some dude who has a watch who wants to sell it. So they can sit on this watch forever. So this watch is not going to sell at this price, probably. Uh, this chowdering's too bad to warrant the $1,700 price point. So I would go in at $1,250 on this, and I would leverage hard on $1,250, and then I'd put a follow-up on it. I would follow up with the seller Monday and Thursday, or Tuesday and Friday and I would hammer them until they take 1250 1275 on it that's what this example is worth so we got a double trouble today young ends max bill on Milanese and an Omega Seamaster 120 and I'm pretty sure that bezel ring can be cleaned up either with some Cape Cod or frankly a trip to your local dealer for a proper buffer buff that out why not? It's th those those cuts. They're not so deep. I think a professional polish could give this watch a new lease on life. And in any in any actuality, this seller should have done it himself, and he could have probably listed this for nineteen hundred. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, get out there, go get that Bulgari before I do. All right, peace.